Hello guys, welcome to another logic tutorial. It's going to be a very quick video. This is just to answer a question that I've now seen a couple of times. People asking why they can't see the GUI, GUI of plugins inside logic. And it's very likely that they've flipped a setting that allows you to just see the parameters of a plugin. So up here, I've just got a bus comp and pitch correction just to show you that this can affect third party install plugins and the default ones inside logic. So if you use this little oval tab up here in the top right, you can extend the little host that hosts the plugin inside it. So what actually goes on when you load a plugin, the DAW opens another little program that holds that plugin inside it and that's what this is here. And we'll notice we've got a view 100% here, which is really useful because it means we can zoom in on all types of plugins. But more importantly, we have editor and controls. And if you accidentally switch that to controls, you're just going to get all the options available in that plugin just in a list format like this. Now, if someone's accidentally done that, um, like dragged over and not realized, then the plugin's gonna appear like this and they're not gonna necessarily ha know how to get it back and that seems to have happened with uh, a couple of my viewers and you can even do it on third parties and you just end up with this which isn't much use, it's much better to have your GUI. So you have to click this little oval tab up here, click on control and bring the editor back that way. And that, guys, is how to resolve that little problem. I hope that was a helpful video for you. Appreciate it was quick. If it was helpful for you, please bash a like on the video. If you've got any questions, throw them in the comments down below. And hopefully, if you've subscribed to the channel, I will see you again.